there, namaste, welcome back. Welcome to Sacred Sagittarius Angels Answers All. This is your Sagittarius channel here on YouTube, but I do collective readings as well now and again, and also I do deck reviews to let you be introduced to decks that I've come across or that I've been gifted to that I think you might have an interest in. I've been doing plenty these past couple of weeks, so please stop on by to my deck review playlist and catch up with the deck reviews that I've done and reach out to these fantastic creators with these beautiful decks. Many of them you will see throughout my weekly rotations of my card readings so if you haven't got a chance to look at the deck reviews if you ever have a question about a particular deck and if it is a deck that i did a deck review on i will gladly reply and let you know get in contact with these creators they're waiting for you to place orders if you have any questions maybe it's a deck that you might want to put on your wish list or give to someone else well let's get started with this latest deck review and i will be doing another two or three for this week and then we'll see what next week brings and this particular deck, as you can see, and that I received, came in this beautiful clear chiffon packet, which most of them, I call it chiffon taffeta, the same thing, but the drawstring bag. Um, and she also enclosed inside with the deck this beautiful little inner satchel with some citrine. I love it. I love when they give me stuff with the decks, especially when it's crystals, because then I will bless them and I keep them always with the deck. I, will, I won't add them with my crystals. I keep them in the satchel. Like I'll take it out the satchel and reuse the satchel for something else. But look at the beautiful crystals that she adorned me with. So we're going to let that energy of the citrine. I can use citrine. So thank you so much for that. And let's see what else we have here. Usually we get a postcard or a card. And this deck, from what I do remember, is a deck created internationally. This is coming by way of France. This is my first, I think, first deck where I've actually received it from overseas. So I'm so excited. And I love the fact that, you know, we can use the internet to our advantage to create and co-create and coexist and just be able to conversate and you know be one with everyone in the world so thank you for this french creator for bestowing this gift upon me it is in french i don't speak french i'm spanish i don't speak spanish so don't expect french from me but as you can tell from this lovely introduction she is on facebook instagram as well as youtube um you can reach her at contact at Michelle, and it's Michelle, spelled a little bit differently, M-I-C-H-A-L-L-E.com. And she also has a website of the same name, www.M-I-C-H-A-L-L-E.com. I'm not sure if you can see it there, but that is it. So that's where you can find her as far as social media. Also in the pack, wait, I think there's something else. Oh, this is cute. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe this is a little miniature of what the deck is actually going to be like. So let's take a look and see. So it is in this nice box, and it's the Amethyst Love Oracle. That is the review that I'm doing today. It isn't a Love Oracle deck. It is the Amethyst, just like the Purple Beautiful Stone love oracle now this is it written sort of like the amethyst you see has like a little twist to it um so that's probably the french pronunciation and let's see the other side yeah everything is basically in french actually so amethyst in this case is like i said has a little twist to it if you notice it's a m e with the apostrophe t h y s t e love oracle and it's being brought to you by michelle and tarot and that's michelle m-i-c-h apostrophe capital a l l e and then space a n g e tarot okay and this is coming all the way from france i did take a quick peek at the deck to make sure and she has something here written i gather in french um to make sure that it was in english so i can do the review so the deck as far as i know I believe it might have additional languages other than French on the cards. We're going to see. So this is the box. You can choose to keep the box 
and keep it stored in the bag. You know, some people like to just keep in the box. They don't need the bag or they chuck the box and put the cards in the bag. You know, that's up to your personal preference. I don't know, we get a blank card here. We don't really need that, but, and then there is another little booklet. The booklet is also, let me see if there's any English writing in here. So the booklet seems to be in French as well, but some of the words for the cards, you can kind of pick out um, because it just has like a brief, maybe exclamation point or extra letter, but it, some of them you can kind of make out the English meanings. So this little pamphlet comes with it as well. We'll put this back in the box. And this is like your standard box. So you might want to keep them in the box and then as well keep them in the satchels. Again, that's, that's your preference. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Um, let me see if she says how many cards there are. Again, because it's not... Oh, 52 cards. So let's go to the side of the box. It does tell us that there's 52 cards. Okay. They feel really beautiful. I love the lavender. I don't have, do I have a lavender deck? Actually, I do have a lavender, but it's really all purple. This is, this is, this is what you would call, what's that fancy word that everyone does with the painting? Um, it's like a shadow effect. I know the term of it. My craftswomen help me out here, <laughs> but it's, it's that type of effect. Even the nails now, people get this type of effect with it. So I love the gradual change in the deep purple to the light purple with the heart in the middle so all the face cards are of the same design it's a standard size card not too big not too small it is glossy on both sides it's good to the touch and feel very glossy beautiful design okay so we keep the box here and when you flip it over it has black borders. This is the first deck since I started doing back deck reviews that has a border. So this is a black border. And I know some people feel funny about black sometimes because I do find that with black cards or black borders in time as you shuffle and you use them over the months and years, the black can kind of fade away and then you'll get the white edging showing. So some people are very funny when it comes to black. But this deck, I mean, let me see. I don't think you need to, yes, you could. You still could edge this purple or black if you wanted to. Again, that's up to you as a preference. You don't have to. But all the cards are in the face of it on the keyword side is done in a, bo a border of black. And if you notice, each card also has a number at top. So on the top right corner, it is numbered one. And then of course, your last card would be 52, which is great. You know, some of you, you get old <laughs> and your sight goes bad or, you know, you're off your count. You can always be sure that you have all the cards when they're numbered. So that's really helpful. So when we go to the first card, you can see the format it is, it is in several, I'm assuming, all these languages there's one two three four five six different languages i'm not sure if they're all french i don't speak a second language but definitely there's there's six languages one being english and the english well i was just going to say that the english definition is the second but i noticed in card number two the English keyword is in a different position. So you're going to have to just look and see <laughs> which one you recognize um, to pick out the English or if you speak one of the other languages, which one um, you can relate to. So they're not necessarily all English in a particular spot. You have to look and see. For card number one, this is healing and it is in position number two. So this is the healing card. I love this. Remember, this is a love oracle deck. So this is just giving you key words. There's no long sentences. So you would have to use your intuition with this. Healing. Does this picture depict healing? It may or may not for you, but it is a beautiful artistic card. I will tell you that the colors are just beautiful. And with the glossy finish, it gives it a great touch. 
and I do like that the healing card starts out with the one because most healing starts with self, you only, the one person. So I like that. As we move on to card number two, this is happy end and this is the happiness card. Happiness, and if you notice, the key word for this happiness is in the third position. So like I said, it does vary from card to card because the third card, it, it's in the fourth, well, in the th hmm, third card is even different. So let's stick with the two words here, happiness happy end happiness past third card refers to the past and the meaning or the key word now this one is different because it says return ex-partner or flashback so if this card was to come up in a love reading you can tell your clients or yourself if it's for you it could be representing someone coming back to your life from the past or you're just having a flashback you know a memory of someone from the past the graphics are different on this i, I kind of like it's both like with, with word and with graphics and graphics that i've never seen before in other decks that i own so far oh look at this one i love how she played with the purple hues i love this on the skull that's really nice so we're up to card number four, and this one is the, hmm, see now I'm assuming, let me see here. So you get magi, I was going to say magic, but then the next word is bewitching, which really isn't the proper spelling in English, so it's somewhere between the two. So I would take this as the energy of a magic card or, or, or magic. So if I got this card in a love reading, you know, my intuitive guess would be someone can be performing magic on you, someone's doing spell work, or, you know, this, this relationship um, has put a spell on you, you know what I mean? That type of energy. So on to card number five. This has clocks on it. Wow, that's different. And if you notice, each card still continues in the backdrop of the purple the different shades of purple this one the word patient ah clock signifying time in the word patient now if you notice here patient is like the fifth definition all the way at the end the last definition so the clock represents time and to be patient <laughs> one has to rely on time so now we're on to card number six this one is the feminine and the girl. So those two words, at least I'm able to be able to pick out. And this is beautiful, exquisite, very simple and dainty. You do get the girl energy with the purple bow in the hair. I love the colors, the black pops with the black in the border. Card number seven, the boy, the man. Now I see again, but also there's the word consultant on here as well. And they're spelling man, M-A-N-N. -N. So again, the different dialect, depending on which language it's referring to. But you can kind of get the English meaning in this. But this definitely is the man. And again, using the bold black with the hints of white really, really brings the beauty of this card with the black border. Well, on to card number eight. Ooh, look at the dogs on the bench. Well, near the bench. Let's see what this one represents. Aha. I see the word dating, even though, again, it's not spelled in the American way, but it's spelled like D-A-I-T-I-N-G. So this would be this would be dating, like two people coming together, a park bench. So if this came up in a love reading, I would say to someone, ooh, there's a chance that you're going to be going on a date or you're going to be meeting someone. You're gonna, you might be going out in a park. You know, that type of energy. Card number nine. That looks like the tower, right? Or a castle? Let's see. Oh, actually, this card number nine is no communication. Hmm, interesting. I'm trying to think if maybe the boulder bricks, the bricks in front of the tower is what where the no communication part comes in. But this is no communication. And of course, if you get this in a love reading, that means that the person is ghosting you. There's no communication. You're not talking. You're kind of like keeping, you know, all verbal expression and non-void. Card number 10. Hmm, a circle with a green check mark. Let's see if we can question. This is a question. Hmm. 
Ah, yes. Yes is in the middle. So the check mark, this is the yes card. So if you were to pose a question in a love reading and this card was present, it would be yes. The check off for yes. Again, you have to kind of look really carefully at the keywords because some some of them it can give you more than one meaning but it kind of means the same this one is probably the no so let's just compare the two right first we had the yes with the green check mark and now we have the no with the red x both with the black circle your no and your yes 10 and 11. going on to card oh <laughs> i turned the deck around don't want to jump to 52 yet. We want to continue on to card 12. Okay, so we have some angel wings here. Okay, I see protection, divine support. So this definitely, I even intuitively get the feeling when I see this card that my angels are present. You're being protected. You know, a relationship or yourself, one of the partners is being protected divinely. Your angels are watching over you in this relationship card 13 you get the key in the heart and let's see what we have here i see the word move i see the english word move i don't know the other words so we're just going to go with the move um you, so if you're going to use this for the keyword in which it says intuitively when i saw the key i just automatically said you someone has a key to your heart but if it's with move, it could be you're giving someone the key to move in with you. It could be a sign that you're getting closer, that the relationship is taking on, you know, a different level of commitment. 14, this, this looks like the wounded heart, right? The band-aid, sorrow, pain maybe, a broken heart. And yes, it is. I see the word wound. So this is the broken heart. Your heart is wounded. They hurt you. They betrayed you. And on to 15. Okay, we see the lucky shamrocks there. And some... Yep, and sure enough, it's the card Luck and Chance. So this is great. The, the ladybugs, I couldn't think of it. That's why I drew a blank. The ladybugs and the green shamrocks. So this is the card of Luck and Chance. So this could be good luck coming to your relationship. Good luck in you finding a love or a partner. Now, this one is a heart with like the infinity symbol. And this is called 16. Your true love. Wow, I like that. I love that depiction. I never saw a, a heart drawn like that with the infinity symbol. That's genius. I love it. Card 17. Is effort... Uh, hmm. Oh, okay, so there's a couple of things here. I see something love, a more, it looks like they're trying to say passenger flirt. So I'm just going to go with that this is signs of love, being flirtatious with someone, you know. Even like I see how the, the hearts are kind of like fluttering away, like having butterflies in your stomach. And when you're flirting with someone, that's kind of the feeling that you get. 18, this is a bracelet. Let's see. Oh, soul sisters. Wow. Okay. This represents soul sisters. Hmm. Interesting. Number 19, on and off. Let's see. An unstable relationship. I love it. I love it, Michelle. Unstable. One minute you're on, the next minute you're off. <laughs> Have we all been down that road before, right? Being indecisive or having someone who's indecisive. Okay, this one, let's see. This has a couple of little different symbols around the heart. Ah, choice, issue. So this could be your card of options. If this card came out in a reading, it could be that your person has a lot of options or that you have a lot of options or choices to make in regards to the relationship or your partner. And this is card 20. Card 21, okay, let's see. We have the little sailor. Um stability an anchor that makes sense your relationship is grounded this person is set and committed to you they're not going anywhere i love that oh this has got to be the fox tricky slick let's see deceitful sure enough is card 22 the sly fox deceitful someone is lying to you they're not being truthful they're hiding stuff from you 
card 23. Look at the little pooch there, right? I love these pictures. They're so different. Friendship. This card could come out on your reading, you know, symbolizing that the person might just love you as a friend or they see you as a friend more than a lover. Card 24. Ooh, the bold question mark. Confusion. So again, this in a love reading, I would say that someone is confused or they, they don't know which direction to go. They don't know what they feel about you or the relationship. They don't know how to handle the relationship. They don't know how to look at it. Card 25, the envelope, message sent. So it could be an email, a text, and with the arrow, it's been set and it's on its way to you. The graphics are so simple and refined, but so classy and elegant. I love it and playful. Oh, wow. So 25 and 26. Ah, look at the, look at the opposite. Message going and message coming. Look at that. Message sent and message received. Love that. As we go on to 27, whoa, there's a secret secret relations so someone has some third party or other romantic interest going on 28 is the mask and that is treachery adultery again more third party interference someone's wearing a false mask they're not who they say they are and they're involved with other people call 29 this looks like the cat so this, oh, actually, this is the moon in the backdrop. So this is the moon card using your intuition. Also with the moon, you know, things are hidden, but it will come to light. Card 30. The heart in the maze with the arrow. It, it, that is a symbol of I love you, but the key word is difficulty. So it's like the person might have feelings for you. They're into you, but the relationship itself is tricky, is difficult. Um, you know, like a maze, they, they're trying to work their way around it, or there's so many avenues, you know, in so many directions that the relationship can go. There's just a lot going on, and there is difficulty in the relationship, and apparently multiple <laughs> things according to this maze. What a great way to depict difficulty. 31. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. I love this. I think this one I like. I mean, I really enjoy all the graphics so far, but this one's my favorite, I think, because I'm impartial to dream catches. Previous life. Wow. Okay. 32. We've got a lot going on here. Some lips, the diamond, a shoe. Shallow. Okay. This person is materialistic. They're just all in it for themselves and the money. 33, rivalry. Again, competition, third party interference, a love. Oh, yes, and there is the word there a love triangle. There's triangle, rivalry and triangle. So, definitely interference. 34, we have a ring here, and this is a union, a couple. So this is signifying marriage. If this was to, to come out in a reading, someone can be proposing to you, or they're ready to make a commitment, or you are married. 35 is metamorphosis. You get the butterfly. So there's change, transformation going on in this relationship or yourself at this time. 36, an invitation, entertainment. You could be receiving an invitation. They're inviting you out. Maybe it's a wedding invitation. 37 looks like a beautiful sunflower triumph. The sun. Yes, victory. 38, the broken heart, the split up, you've parted ways. Could be a sign that you're going to part ways if you haven't yet. 39, spring, the beautiful green tree, the flowers on it, and the leaves. 40, now this has, you know what, I didn't even, I'm sorry, you know what I didn't even notice on top? There's, there are words on top, but some of them, again, they're mostly all in French. This one is the first one where I can actually make it out. It says Cancer Lion. And then on the bottom it says Summer. Which Cancer's birthdays are in the summer. Moving on to card 41. Oh, this is beautiful. Capricorn Winter. I love it. So these are the seasons now. Scorpio, Sagittarius. There we are in French. And at least now we know how you spell Sagittarius in French. And this is the autumn. Oh, I love that. That's a beautiful way to depict the seasons. Oh, isn't this stunning? Oh, card 43. Beautiful wisdom. 
card 44, affection, affinity, attraction, I'm sorry. So it's attraction, the magnet being drawn to someone. 45, I see the stalk the baby, new event, baby announcement, arrival of a baby, pregnancy. 46, addiction, obsession, the drugs, look at that, the alcohol, all the bad things that people put into their body. Love the depiction of that. And as we get closer to the close, we get 47, which is the pause symbol, taking a break from a relationship, putting a relationship on hold, temporary separation. The beautiful, beautiful peace symbol card 48. And that's exactly what it is, peace and love. 49 is Zeus. And this is talking about suddenly something happening like without warning, without notice, like a tower effect in a sense. And card 50 is the rising elevation. Beautiful artistry. And 51 is shallow. This is a conceited gentleman, the person who has it all, probably, you know, a woman's man, a player. And then finally, we have card 52, burnout caution. Love, love the artistry on this deck. I would love if you guys can contact her and purchase this deck it's something so different a deck from france i think it will do lovely in the readings so again i thank michelle and thank you for taking this opportunity to be with me to enjoy this amethyst love oracle deck i hope you've enjoyed this review and when you get a chance again visit her at all her areas here facebook Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you so much, Michelle. I wish I could say <laughs> thank you in French, but I don't know it. So thank you, gracias. And I really appreciate you sending me this deck and I look forward to using it. I love the artistry. I love the feel of the deck. I hope everyone has enjoyed this. And again, pay homage to Michelle. I'll put the information below. Namaste.